Hey guys, Lockie here. Thank you so much for checking into my transformation video. I really appreciate all the help and support and I can't wait to share this little journey with you. It's been a long time coming. It's been, I think 10, 11 years of training almost. So I can't wait to share this with you guys. But let's start off as a little mini me in primary school. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my genetics as a kid, how I looked and what my base was. I moved into high school. I'm about 12, 13 years old, super skinny, super trim. I look like my sisters. It's not good. Uh, this stage of my life, I had no idea about training, no idea about food. Uh, I didn't prioritize anything other than my school and my sport. Uh, I used to get teased a little bit. I used to get uh, bullied to the point where I used to get off the bus because boys would call me a string bean and, and poke me and jab me and, and mock me for going to the school that I went. So I used to get off the bus and walk home. Uh, we then move into about 13 and 14 where I went traveling with my parents. As you can see, a couple of Europe photos here. Uh, a couple of flash forwards very recently. I also went to Europe. Uh, but as you can see, still absolutely no shape, no size, still just a skinny little kid in high school. I started playing uh, higher level sport, but at the same time in Australia, high level sport, they still don't really take care of your nutrition or training. You're just a kid playing sport. And so here I am still skinny, still a little skinny mini. At school, 14, 15, I started to grow uh, up a little bit. Didn't grow out, just grew up. Got a little bit taller, limbs got longer, became even harder to put on any muscle whatsoever. At this stage, I wasn't really eating. I had no idea about nutrition, no idea about food. I was just a kid, go to school, eat whatever lunch my mum made, whatever dinner my mum made, come home, play sport, train, do my thing. That's it. As you can see, the arms on this kid, oh, the genetics, what a lucky guy. The skinniest mini you'll ever meet. But still at age 15, 16 here in the suit, so 16 is... I know I'm 16 because it was uh, work experience. Starting to fill out a little bit. So obviously eating a little bit more food as I'm going through puberty, et cetera, et cetera, but still not really training uh, at this stage, singlet with my grandma. You can see I've uh, probably started to grow a little bit. So my gym started in my garage with my dad's weights because I was never allowed to watch TV as a kid on a weeknight only ever if I was training or down in the gym. And so I used to go down to the gym every night for about half an hour because I really wanted to watch The Simpsons. And I thought to myself, instead of sitting down here and pretending to train and just watch The Simpsons, I said, I might as well do something. So I went down and I guess I caught a little bug. And I loved it. At the age of 16, 17, I uh, still had no idea what I was doing. I would read online, I'd watch other videos, I'd watch people train, I'd watch people eat. And then I realized the thing that I was missing was eating. I, w I wasn't eating, I was training, but I wasn't doing the other side of it that made it all come together. And so at age 16, 17, I started going to school and I would stop at the shops on the way and I would buy a two, three liter bottle of full cream milk, a loaf of bread and peanut butter. And I would sit at school all day, every day. And I would drink all this milk throughout the day, as well as eating my meals, as well as making myself XX sandwiches. And then I would get off the bus on the way home. I would stop at a gym. I would train. And then I would go home every single day. And I absolutely loved it. So here we are in year 12. And I, you can see photos with my teachers and friends. And this is my last few days of school. So I am 18 now. You can tell quite a bigger boy, quite a bigger boy than my other friends and students. And you can also see how puffy I am in the face and how bloated I am because at this stage I was uh, between 105 and 108 kilos. So that's what happens when you drink three liters of full cream milk every day for two years. After school, I went overseas and I had plenty of time to read and learn about food and its importance in my training and transformation. And so I started to take a little bit more care with it. And I managed to get myself up to 108 and a half kilos, my biggest ever, here with my sister in blue. I hated this weight. I hated how I looked. I hated how I felt. I hated how I performed in the gym, on the basketball court. And so I quickly realized that it wasn't for me and it was time to trim down. So taking that all into account, I went back to the drawing board and thought to myself, what can I do with my food? 
So I started slowly, slowly taking things out and manipulating what I was doing, my training, my food, until the point where I got my first job at a gym. I thought to myself, if I immerse myself in this, I surround myself with like-minded people. Uh, I have no choice but to push myself and to succeed in, in this journey that I'm on. And I started my first cut. And these photos are my first photos of my first cut where I got back, I got down to about 85 kilos. So I lost 20 odd kilos in about about a year. A year. So here I'm about uh, 20. And I loved it because I started uh, getting recognized and I started getting picked up for jobs and work and companies started getting in contact with me and wanting to use me for their campaigns. And I picked up a couple of really big jobs with a company called Aussie Bum, which is a swimwear and underwear company. And they started taking me around the world and I thought taking photos and paying me for these jobs. And I thought this was just absolutely amazing. And so I thought if this is what I can achieve now, I said, imagine imagine if I could, if I improved. So I went back to the drawing board and I decided that I was going to do another bulk. And so I started to put on weight now with a little bit more knowledge about food, training. But as you can still see, as I had a little bit more shape to me, still a big boy, still a lot of uh, excess weight. And then it all came time to do it all again. It was time to cut down. But this time I wanted a coach. I wanted to compete and I wanted to get on stage. I wanted to do something different. So I got a coach and here are the results that we came up with after putting on weight back to the excess of 100 kilos. Jumped on stage, loved it, but at the same time, not for me, we'll probably never do it again. After that, I got to the stage where I just wanted to maintain a healthy weight. I wanted to be in shape. I wanted to train, have a good relationship with food, friends, family, the lot. And because after competing, you sacrifice a lot of those things. So I lived a healthy life for a while and then I realized I got a little bit bored and I wanted to do it all again. So I decided to put on weight again. And this was gonna be the last time I did it, the third and final time that I've done a bulk. So I haven't bulked for about uh, two years now. So this was at age 23 to 24. I put on a lot of weight at university, still training here. You might see the photo, it doesn't look like I train, but I'm still training every day, still taking care of my food. I'm just eating in such an excess of calories that there's no real shape to my body. All my muscles are covered in fat. And so here at university, I started training with a coach, seriously, started working on my lifts, working on my strength, like my squats up to 200 kilos, which I was very stoked about, but my knees started taking a toll, so that ended pretty quick. But here we are on my uh, journey after my final bulk. And as you can see, new training, my working with a coach, taking extra, extra care of my food and my programming, I was able to come up with my best results ever. I also moved to flexible dieting here. So instead of, I would count every, I would count and weigh every bit of food that I put in my mouth. And so I was a little bit obsessed at this stage, but with my obsession came my results and work and opportunity. And so I was very grateful for that. So these are my final days in the last uh, year or 18 months of what I was able to bring my uh, body and shape to. And I'm very proud of this, but at the same time, I'm never satisfied. And I absolutely love this industry because of the opportunity that it's given me, the people that I've met, the friends that I've made, the knowledge that I have myself and that I get to share with my clients. Um, I absolutely love it. And it's been such a whirlwind and a roller coaster for me. And people often ask if I had my time again, if I knew what it took and I had to go back 10 years and start all over again, would I? And my answer is always yes, because I had the most amazing time doing this. I absolutely love learning. I love challenging myself. And I honestly am so grateful for everything that has come from this journey and this decision. And I am very proud of myself for not giving up. And I love thinking back about all the hard times, the struggles, the, just the things that I did to make sure that I am where I am today. And so I'm proud but never satisfied. I love sharing with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the constant help and support and love online. It uh, makes it all possible. And I, uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon.